Hi everyone, this is Zoo. Welcome to our new video. Well, um, if you did not check our previous videos, I do talk about pretty much what our 3D printers, our product, our upcoming project on Kickstarter. So make sure you take a look at our previous videos to a little bit know about who we are. Today's video, it's maybe gonna be one of the most important video because I did not take a lot of videos. Uh, but I, it's the video that I'm gonna be talking about the printers and I'm gonna be introducing them to you. It's one of the thing that, the main thing that we do, our main product, and I'm gonna be covering them uh, as much as I can. The pretty much first thing I would like to mention is that we have three models I'm going to introduce you to them and um, there are some specifications before I talk about the common features I would like to go with the different shades they have the each model and you can have better understanding of how every model is okay the very first model that I like to start with is Masita Plus so pretty much first thing I want to mention is why this is plus because uh, they are pretty much like similar sizes with this one and of course like similar than uh, smaller than this before the very first like one of the very first prototype that we produced it was this one so when you get like a little bit uh, different upgrades uh, and it get bigger we just added the plus that's the reason that we named it plus um it's it's printing area is six to six to eight inches and out of all three models this is the one that is the most affordable uh the main usage of this model is pretty much for the uh, different engineering 3d printing purposes in addition to that if you are using your 3d printer for your uh hobbies purposes if you want to get a good high quality high resolution laser SLA 3d prints you can also consider having um this option because when it comes to the laser SLA um again this is going to be like the one that is the most affordable on the market so pretty much this is my sister plus and I would like to go and continue with the different ones. All right, the next model that I want to introduce is Masita Dent. So this one is made for um, printing 3D dentures and uh, it's used very commonly in the world. Like today, 30% of the 3D printing users are dental labs and they do treat their patients with 3D printings that they get from 3D printers. So pretty much the, the way that it was born was uh, there was an orthodontist that we were working with and she was using plus, like she was asking for uh, particular uh, dentures from us and we did kind of match with their requirements a little bit they have additional accuracy requirements so we helped them to get those requirements and we had additional stabilizer into the z-axis so it's one of the differentiate these two models have it makes it super perfect and super fit for them to get those great structure of the mouth models that they're printing and the last model that i want to introduce is masita large so as obviously you can see this is the biggest out of mall and the printing um, size is four times seven bigger than the other two and it's nine to nine to fifteen inches. The reason that this this machine was born because there was a demand and they they were shoe sole makers, the mold makers and they were actively very actively using through the printers and they had a lot of problems with their previous printers so we did kind of make this uh, big printer fit super uh, for them and this is the one that is used the most like we produce this one the most and obviously like for a long time of year a lot of our early adapters a lot of our clients a lot of our people have been using us the large it has a heater like the other two models don't have a heater uh, just to catch the the warm optimum uh, printing environment we did add a heater in this one and the laser power is 300 millivats. For the other two models, it's 150. So the laser power is stronger. And pretty much this is a Masita large. And this is the one that has the most attention because of this big printing volume. And the, of course, quality of the print it can uh, deliver to you. Okay, so now I'm going to be telling you about the common things that all three models have. Uh, pretty much we have a very uh, basic on-off button that starts the, the printer. And... Our touch screen is also nothing special. Uh, there's no games or anything crazy in it, but it does the job that you need. It's the most important, one of the most important thing is that it's powered by laser. It's not, um, it doesn't have an LCD screen or a DLP projector. So it's kind of like, sometimes we get those questions is, okay, what's the screen power? Or like, what about there's 8K this, that? So it's laser SLA, it's not MSLA. 
That's the one thing I want to mention. So they have 405 nanometer wavelength and 8 micron spot size. We had a lot of questions about the 8 micron spot size. So people saying that, oh, it should be smaller, it's not a player. You don't directly define the print quality with the laser spot size. There is one article from Formlabs that I'm going to be putting in the description. Make sure you take a look if you have any doubts about that. And I'm going to be making another video about this, about the pretty much how do they explain it in the article. So in order to achieve the stabilized power for the materials in the Z-axis and uh, build platform, we use uh, 7000 um, grade, 7000 industrial grade um, aluminum, which is used in aerospace and aviation industry. So they are pretty um, good and pretty um, like stable that I can say. So to get the perfect quality of print, we use industrial linear motion system. So there's no spaces between and they're tight and really accurate and gives the, the quality of the prints that you need. All right, so one of the coolest thing that I like about uh, our 3 prints is it's, it's design. It's completely unique to us. All of its Z-axis components are stored in the main case on the bottom of the printer. I'm gonna explain what it allows you to do. Let's say it does not happen much with the 3D printers that your print is getting failed or there's an issue you can see your 3d print from every angle and if there's like an issue with the back if there's a fail if you're gonna stop and not waste a lot of resin you can simply stop and the other thing it allows you to work from every angle the other 3 print is kind of like hard the resin printers is hard to open the case take the build platform or pour resin but with ours you can pretty much work from every angle do whatever you want to do very freely and see your print very very nicely and when it's not working uh, while it's stored it's it can be 38 percent smaller when it's compared the the case being up and these are the all three kind of like ways that you can see the the, the through the printers and let me um yeah this is pretty much if i open and if i kind of like close it back of course like these are going to be a little bit smoother i should definitely tell you that okay so i kept the most important feature that we have to the last it is the technology that we incorporated with our pr printers we when we first i don't know if you read our story when we first started the very our early adapters they had kind of like issues with their printers and it happens a lot with resin printers which is failures print failures and it was crazy because we did a lot of tests and we prepared our printers to go to um, their places and once it reached them we realized that there are a lot of different factors that are really uh, changing the quality of the print or the, the, the success of the print so I'm going to be also telling everything about our technology and everything about the factors that they do um, change the 3D printing and what we did was that there's one uh, technology that we incorporated it's pretty much uh, we have an airflow system between every layer between the the uh, glass and the the fat film whenever every every layer is being happened this airflow happen works and there's also special coating on the bottom glass so the main reason that the prints happens is there's a force that is called uh peeling force so it it really sticks on the bottom whenever it's pulling itself we uh, fall with that and we really avoid that by using this technology and th this process that is working between the layers so pretty much I can assure you wherever you run our 3d printers the failing rate is gonna be super super low okay so pretty much that was it for today I hope you liked our video our project is coming soon and very very soon we're gonna be launching and these 3d printers are gonna be at the very good prices that they never gonna be ever it's only gonna be for the kickstarter um if you do want to support if you do want to be part of this brand and this creation make sure you drop your email on our website and take a look at our uh, kickstarter page so hopefully it was kind of good for you to understand what our two d printers look like what we do what are we coming with and anything that you like to discuss anything that you want to talk it would mean the world if you can write a comment and i would be very happy to discuss that on there with you and hopefully I'm going to be seeing you on our next videos. See you until next time.